Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to First Kids Online. So glad you decided to join us here this morning. Today, we are finishing our re-series. Uh, I know we took a break for a couple weeks from that, and our word today is revival. Uh, we are looking at the book of Acts, chapters 2, verses 1 through 4. There was a moment in time in the Bible where revival began in the church, and it was on the day of Pentecost. And so we're going to talk about revival a little bit today, what it is. We're going to talk about the day of Pentecost a little bit and that moment in time where it began in the church and just help you guys to understand what revival looks like. To some people, it's gathering in a church more often together. Uh, than we normally do. To other people, it's praying, it's fasting, it's singing more songs to God, it's being more uh, purposeful and spending time with God. But the Bible uses that word revival, and it literally means in Hebrew to come alive or to come alive again. Boys and girls, sometimes we just get out of practice in following Jesus. We stop doing the things we first did when we followed Jesus. We stop telling people about him. We stop reading our Bibles. We stop praying sometimes. We stop being obedient to his word. And so God, by his Holy Spirit, he revives us. He brings us back to life again, and he helps us to get back on track with those things that we once did in following Jesus and having a good, strong friendship with him. Well, boys and girls, we're going to learn more about that today, and I will see you back here at the end. Love you guys.
Game on! Give me five challenge. Can you give me five answers in 10 seconds? Let's play. Give me five Disney movies in 10 seconds. Give me five cheeses in 10 seconds. Give me five board games in 10 seconds. Give me five superheroes in 10 seconds. Give me five chocolate bars in 10 seconds. Give me five insects in 10 seconds. Give me five cartoon characters in 10 seconds.
like when the Holy Spirit showed up? Well, it was 10 days after Jesus left them, 50 days after Passover, on a day called Pentecost. Uh, Pastor Paul, what's Pentecost? Like Pentateuch means five books, Pentecost means 50th. Pentecost was a Jewish holiday 50 days after Passover. Right. So all of Jesus' followers were together, kind of hiding away to try to keep out of trouble. And suddenly, a sound like a huge wind filled the house. And then something that looked like little tongues of fire came down on each one of them. Did they catch on fire? Did they stop, drop, and roll? Luke says it was like fire, not that it was fire. So no, they didn't catch on fire. Writing some parts of the Bible was tricky because the authors were trying to describe things that no one had ever seen before. So when Mark says the Spirit came down on Jesus like a dove, or when Luke says the Spirit came down on Jesus' followers like tongues of fire, it wasn't a real dove and their heads weren't really on fire. That's just the best way the authors could come up with to describe what people saw. So what powers did they get? Did anyone start shooting web? No, no web shooting. The first thing that happened was they all started speaking in different languages. Well, that's pretty cool. And it was very helpful. Because of the holiday, there were Jews in Jerusalem from all over the Roman Empire who spoke many different languages. Fifteen are mentioned in Acts. And suddenly, all these visitors heard Jesus' followers speaking to them in their own language. Whoa, that must have gotten their attention. It sure did. And once they had their attention, the Holy Spirit gave Peter the power to get up and speak an amazing message about who Jesus was. Peter proclaimed the good news. And about 3,000 people who heard Peter speak became followers of Jesus that day. Come on. Well, <laughs> today, <laughs> tonight I'm going to be preaching uh, about um, receiving the blessings. <laughs> so how many of you guys know what an umbrella does? It blocks the rain from touching you. How many of you guys know what a funnel does? It receives the rain. And the rain is the blessings. And how many people in here want some blessings? You could cut my foot in too. Like in 1 Kings 18.41, it, say, it says, I hear the abundance of rain. I hear the abundance of rain. I hear the abundance of rain. The rain won't stop until you receive it. won't stop until you receive it. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed 
our Kids Church online service today. Thank you again for being here with us. Remember, revival doesn't happen by the things we do. Revival happens through the power of the Holy Spirit. And it helps us to get up back on track with the things that we're supposed to be doing. Being obedient to God's word, telling other people about Jesus, praying, reading our Bibles. You know, those things that show our love and devotion towards God. Well, boys and girls, thanks so much again for being here with us. And we'll see you again next time.